Hi everyone, this is The Billiards Doctor, and for today's video, I want to tell you guys some tips for when you're purchasing your own pool cue. I'm going to go into the details of all ranges of pool cues, starting from about $80 to like $2,000, so you're going to get the whole range of things here. For all the tips on the different types of joints, different types of shafts, the different um, weights, all those things I'm going to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is the shaft diameter, which is going to be the diameter across the tip of the cue. Okay, so depending on how, basically how wide that the tip is. So if you have the two ones that they offer that are most common are 12.75 and 13. So 13 is going to be a bigger diameter, so it's going to be like a fatter, a fatter tip basically. Um, and what that means is you're going to have a harder time putting spin on the cue ball. So 13 is usually only offered for the lower end cues, maybe like $150 or under. So if you do get a cue that's like $100 or over, they usually do offer 12.75. So I would recommend trying to get 12.75 if, if it's available, because that'll really up your game with the amount of spin that you can impart on the ball. And it's something that you, that you can easily get used to after a couple of days. Uh, the next thing is the taper of the cue. So the taper of the cue is going to be how quickly it goes from being a thin, a small diameter to a thicker diameter. So you see that it starts out thin here and it gets thicker as we go up. So basically as there are two, there are the main, the nicer cues have what's called a pro taper, which means it's 12 to 15 inches staying at the same diameter and then it gets thicker after that. And that's really nice, it allows you to do closed bridge shots and other types of shots. So if you, they offer pro taper, I would try to get pro taper. Um, a lot of cues in England don't have pro taper, they have what's called a conical taper, um, but that's because the tip of the cues in England are oftentimes very, very, very small. They have to have the taper start earlier. But if they offer pro, pro taper, you should try to get it. The next I wanna talk about the joint types. So the joint types are the parts that come together here. So this is the unilock joint. As you can see, this is a unilock joint. Um, this is like the highest quality joint. They usually only offer it on cues that are like $250 or more, so on the more expensive cues. But if they offer it, I would highly recommend that. <coughs> the reason I would recommend that is because unilock joint is like the universal high quality joint. So if you ever get a new shaft or you need to replace your shaft, you wanna put a brake shaft on or anything, it's super easy to do. It'll just screw on and off. You don't have to worry about having the joint switched or anything like that. Now, they, they also offer other types of joint, like 516 by 18 thread and radial. Like I said, Unilock's gonna be the highest quality that you can get. So if you're paying $250 plus, you should really try to make sure it's Unilock. Um, the joint call is what I'm talking about next. And that's this, this steel part here. So this is called stainless steel joint collar. Um, that's also like the highest quality. They, all, they also offer here, we have what's called an inflex collar. You can see this, this kind of black shiny. So um, those are like the two main ones and stainless steel is really only gonna be offered on cues that are on the more expensive end, but if they offer it, you should try to get that instead of inflex. inflex. It'll last longer and just a higher quality material overall. Um, the cue wrap, the cue wrap is gonna be this part right here. As you can see, it's the grip. Um, and here's another Q wrap here. So they have different types of Q wraps. Um, the most expensive one is leather, which is right here. And this is my favorite one. Like I said, they only offer on expensive cues, probably more like $350 plus type cues, but the leather wrap is super nice. It just feels so natural. I love it. It's my personal favorite by far. They also offer what's called, oftentimes called the sports grip or like a golf grip type wrap which is like what they have here on this cue here. So this is like a sports wrap. And that's also really nice. I like the sports wrap a lot also. Um, and they also offer cues that don't have wraps, which are also, I, I, I also like those cues too that don't have wraps. And then they also offer linen wraps. And linen wraps are like those little strings that kind of wrap around it. I don't like linen wraps personally because I feel like it's literally no grip whatsoever. Like I feel like it's almost like more slippery. Um, and it gets dirty really easily, so keep that in mind. But it's all your personal preference. Like some people like linen, some people like no grip, some people like leather, you know, it's all personal preference. So that's gonna be up to you. But I would recommend like, you know, before you order your pool cue online, which I, I would recommend ordering your pool cue online, it'll save you like a lot of money. Um, but you should go to a store, like talk to your friends and like try out and feel like what linen feels like, feel what leather and what sport grip and just kind of see what, what your feel is. But most people, they kind of get adjusted to it. There, there's this also, um, there's this other grip called snake grip, 
that's like snake skin. I do not recommend that. One of my friends got that one time and he hated it. He ended up getting it like re gripped. So try try to avoid snake skin wrap. Um, next, let's talk about the shafts. So the shaft is the most important part of the queue. And there's these shafts called low deflection shafts. And these are the more expensive shafts. So if you're buying a queue that's like $250 or more, you should really try to make sure that you're getting a low deflection shaft. That's gonna decre decrease the, the deflection when you do like side spin shots. And I have a video on that about swerve, squirt, and deflection. So if you're interested, you should watch that. Next, I'll talk about the Q weight. Um, most professionals use Q weights that are between about like 18.5 and like 19.8 ounces. So like that kind of range there. Um, so I would recommend for you, I'd recommend one with a 19 ounce or 19.5 ounce Q because those are gonna be the type of Q that's gonna let you get um, the optimal both power and cue ball control because if it's more light you're going to get better cue ball control if it's really heavy you're going to be able to hit shots straighter but you're not going to be able to control the cue ball as much so i always recommend that people go with a 19.5 or a 19 ounce cue and you can get used to that because in the end like you would rather have a cue that's too light than that's too heavy because your touch on the cue ball is going to be much harder when you have a very heavy cue so even if you've been using like a 21 ounce cue in the pool hall, I would, I would recommend eventually trying, if you're gonna buy a cue, going with a 19.5 or a 19 ounce. That being said, if you have a long cue like I do, sometimes it has to be heavier. Like my cue is 20.30 ounces, which is really nice. Um, but it's also 66 inches long. Um, so it's actually pretty light. Like it feels like it's like an 18 ounce cue, but it's really a 20.3. But like I said, it's super long. So with this extension on the back, automatically it's gonna add some weight to it. Um, Seabirds Billiards is gonna be your best place to buy these cues. I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm just telling you because like I order all my stuff through them and they're amazing. Seabirdsbilliards.com or seabirds.com is just fantastic. They offer the best selection of cues and they offer the best prices. That being said, Pool Dog and Ozone Billiards also offer similar prices, but the selection is not as big as, like, as the, as, so like, Seabirds is the best selection, basically. But all the prices are, like, equal, because there's, like, a standard price that they set on all the cues, basically, so, but Seabirds has the most of everything. You want to get gloves, you want to get, you know, cases, you want to get cues, you want to get shafts, they have the best of everything. Seabirds is awesome. Um, now I want to talk to you guys about the different kind of categories of cues. So these are all, of course, in my opinion, um, like everything, everything I say obviously is in my opinion, but there's a very top end cue, like the very top, top, top end cues, like the Predator cues. This is a Predator cue, this is a Throne, this is an original Throne 3, and it's very expensive. And these cues price range is going to be from like maybe $800 to like $2,000. These are like the top of the top line cues, they're going to have low deflection shafts, my opinion, Predator is the elite of the elite. And the reason why I say that is because not, not only have they been the best Q product for many years, but they just came out with this Revo shaft, this black Revo shaft, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it's really changed the game of pool, I think. I think you, you're, you're gonna see a lot more carbon fiber based shafts coming out in the next 20 years, because it's really up the game. Um, so Predator's like the top, the top line. And you also have like also like super high end cues, including OV, Mez, McDermott, and Petch Hour. And those are also like extremely high end cues. Um, and those are gonna be in the price range probably around 500 to like $2,000. Also really nice cues. But the way I see it, if you're gonna spend $900, like I would just get a Predator. Like they are, like I said, you can't go wrong with Predator. They are amazing, especially with the Revo shaft. Phenomenal. Um, the next, the next area, kind of like the mid-tier cues, are like the Lucasi and the Q-Tech cues. Um, I really like Lucasi personally. I think if you're paying, these cues are usually in a range of like 150 to like $500. And the Lucasi cues are really nice. I think if you buy like a $250 Lucasi cue, that's like a super good deal. Um, they have low deflection shafts. They're just a high quality cue. They have lots of colors to like choose from. Um, so I really like the cost. But Q-Tech's kind of also kind of on those intermediate range cues. And then if you're gonna get like a starter cue, like your first cue, kind of in the range of like $80 to like $200, they have the player's cue and the pure X type cues, which are also really nice. I really like players. My first cue is a player's cue, and I really liked it a lot. 
Uh, so I would recommend that as like a starting cue. I guess those are in the price range of like $80 to 200. And those cues, like you really wanna look at the specs because the specs change drastically and you wanna be like, oh, this is stainless steel joint. Oh, this is certain of the grip because those do matter, especially like shaft diameter and the things that I've talked about. Cause that's where you're gonna get like some of the cheaper things I talked about showing up are in those like, uh, in those lower end Q ranges. Um, so that's all I have for specs. I guess generally when you're buying a Q, I always feel like it's important that your first Q is like a pretty cheap Q, like 80 to $200. And the way I always say it is it's kind of like, it's like this, this is like a graph. And this is, this is the graph here, it's like this. And what I mean by that is the X axis is like the price that you're paying for the Q and the performance is on the Y axis. So if you look at like a house Q for like $10, it's terrible performance. If you buy a hundred dollar Q, like a Pure X or a Player's Q, the performance difference is gonna be massive. You're gonna be so much better. But if you look at the difference between like a thousand dollar Q versus a two thousand dollar Q, the difference between those is gonna be very, very small. So keep that in mind when buying your Qs. Like my, my Q is expensive because it has lots of fancy inlays and it's got a really fancy color and it's got leather grip. But honestly, it's probably almost as good as like a seven, it'd be just as good as like a $700 Q. So keep that in mind when purchasing your Qs. That being said, looks are super important. Like for me, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a new Q. I love my Q. I take really good care of it. I don't see any reason why I'd ever get a new one. So um, keep that in mind when buying your Q that like looks are really important. It's gonna be like, it's, it's your Q. Like this is your Q and if you're gonna invest like a lot into it, then like you kind of want it to be your, your Q. And get a case for your Q, like I would recommend getting a hard case or like a thicker soft case. Don't just get one of those little sleeves, like those little sleeves aren't gonna protect it, but get a case, don't, don't keep it out in the cold or in super hot temperatures. It will warp over time if you leave it in the cold. So try not to do that, don't like leave it in your car, you know, bring it inside and stuff like that. But that's all I have for ordering Qs. Um, if you have any questions on like what cues to order or any any more questions on the different types of specs when you're ordering cues, please let me know. I've helped many many people order cues and um, it's been awesome. So so thanks for watching. This is the Billiards Doctor. Stay tuned for more videos.